Hello, welcome to another video from Avni Likes looking at Chinese dramaland in the past week. And happy International Women's Day. I'm filming it on the day, March the 8th, but the video will go out one day later. So this is the best I can do. Hope all you ladies are having a good time. And now let's get into talking about Chinese dramaland. First, we've had a drama that's been put in the fridge for seven years that suddenly aired during this week. It goes live on Beijing satellite television, also Tencent. Originally, this drama supposedly was 60 episodes long. It got edited down to 40. Xuanwu Men, Xuanwu Gate, or Gate of Xuanwu, which is still a city gate these days in Beijing. It's an end of Qing Dynasty setting, historical legend drama, I'd say. That's actually led by an ensemble of very heavyweight middle age range actors, including Ren Zhong Tong Lei, Wang Zijian, Si Qing Gao Wa, Zhang Feng Yi. And it was actually filmed back in 2017. It just didn't go through. And I think probably for a good reason. I checked out one episode of this drama and I clicked in and clicked out. Entertainment wise, it's not that interesting. Historical wise, it's weird. It is set in real time and featuring real historical figures, only that the story itself is like has nothing to do with real history. It starts with this jade carved pomegranate that never really existed in history anyway. And the importance of it also is kind of a joke. There is a traditionally very important piece of jade in Chinese history, in case you're wondering, which is called Chuan Guo Yu Xi, a kind of seal made of this piece of jade that has a longer history in historical recording. Supposedly, anybody who holds it holds the right to rural China. It actually got lost a long time ago and never resurfaced. So every ruler, ever since it got lost, was trying to find it and trying to claim that they are the official and rightful ruler of China. And there are a lot of legends and stories surrounding this piece of jade, as you can imagine. And this drama just created its own, which is a pomegranate. I'm like, yeah, like as if we don't know that that's totally made up. Just because of that, it makes the whole story looks really funny. Then we have a couple of dramas that are either kind of like 95% confirmed or like 80% confirmed, but will show up very soon. First, on the 14th, we should have the contemporary drama going live on Tencent. And that's the drama I've talked about multiple times since they started shooting. Xiao Ruzi, literally meaning little days. Don't think it has an official English title at this point. It is the contemporary, domestic, ordinary people's life drama between a couple that's led by Chen Xiao and Tong Yao. They have just released their first official trailer of people who are living in Shanghai and struggling because, well, if you're an ordinary person, it's expensive to live in that city. Then on that very same day, Tencent should be holding a press conference, yes, interesting, for a drama, Yu Feng Xing. Legend of Shen Li, the second collaboration between Lin Gengxing and Zhao Liying and many people have been waiting for. And there are all kinds of rumors about when they first released this trailer, people are unhappy about its filter and the look and the color. So there's this rumor that they went back and kind of redid all the coloring. I don't know if that's true. Right now, the projected and highly likely date would be March the 18th for the drama to go live. And then also on Tencent, it's likely that around sometime mid-March, they should air the fifth, yes, the fifth Ode to Joy. I watch the first oh to joy second one was it like kind of there and three four i totally gave up on it it was just too ridiculous for me even when it actually features actors i like now it's the fifth one they filmed this together with the three four five so it's really just one drama broken into multiple pieces and finally we're getting to the end of this ip i think the conclusion it's like the type of drama that if you've been watching you probably just want to see to the end you know for all the time you've invested in it before but then for people who have given up it long time ago there's no reason for you to go back to it type of situation then there are a couple of projects more exciting to me personally at least although they haven't said when they're gonna go live but based on now they start promoting officially you have the feeling that it may come sooner than you think first we've got new posters and an official new trailer for drama that will air on Aichi when it airs it is the Mingguo setting drama Changfeng English title War of Faith. It's the one that I've talked about, I think, once before, led by Wang Yibo, Wang Yang, Li Qing. And it's to do with finances, to do with the Mingguo Shanghai, that kind of environment, and to do with different political parties in play, a little bit espionage, and then 
since it's called War of Faith, you know what it's gonna involve. Okay, it's gonna involve Kuomintang and Gongchandang and then invaders and then all those different powers. And for Wang Yibo as the male lead, right, he is gonna be Communist Party member for sure. Like even when he doesn't start with it, he's gonna end with it. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work for Mingguo setting dramas. It's made quality looks quite okay, like the standard mid to mid high range ITE period setting drama. One funny thing of that whole trailer is it's a lot of epic shots with very strong string music in the background. It hardly features any lines of any characters, so nobody is really speaking. It's just all the atmosphere, the explosive moments, the shocking acting moments with this epic music in the background. So that's the first trailer they put out, trying to set the mood and make the thing look quite big and quite serious. And then this is the first stage of official promotion. So. Not gonna show up tomorrow, this drama, but first half of this year, maybe we can look forward to that. Then there's the new trailer that just got released yesterday that, no, the day before, anyway, that created another buzz on China's internet, Dao Mu Bi Ji, new one. Last year has released some kind of promotional material and then got people laughed at it quite badly. It is the Zhang Hai Hua, the Tibetan sea flower. If you're familiar with Dao Mu Bi Ji, then you know the characters featured the stories and for this particular Tibetan sea flower, what it's talking about, Wu Xie, Zhang Qiling, Pang Zi. Closest to now and the best received one with in all the IBT adaptation dramas of the story would be the ultimate note from IGE couple of years ago now. And it gave us very good Zhang Qiling played by Xiao Yuliang. I think even till today, most people would agree is the best screen iteration of this book character. Now this new version, although it hasn't said when it's gonna air, when it airs, it's gonna be on Tencent, led by Zhang Luyi. He plays Wu Xie. He's a great actor, but we shall see right, when it actually airs, whether it works. He's at the age where you can skin smooth him a little bit to make him a little bit younger, but not so much. Then the Pang's character will still be played by Chen Minghao, who's been playing this character in different adaptations for a while, and Zhang Qiling this time is played by the young actor Zhang Kangle. Frankly, I have no idea who he is. I think his face looks familiar somewhere, but I don't quite remember. In the trailer, at least he looks young. Age-wise suiting Zhang Qiling, just because Zhang Qiling doesn't age, right? Technically speaking, he looks like a young guy always. Then again, it's trailer. You don't actually see extensive scenes of acting until we actually see the drama. It's hard to uh, say. And this whole IP has this fade, almost like a um, curse on it, which is when the adaptation doesn't get touched by the original author of the book, it tends to turn out better. If it actually get manipulated by the guy himself, it tends to just like look really bad. So for this one, he did touch it. And then there are a couple of other things about dramas officially promoting, not seeing one or starting to shoot. So let's go through them in no particular order. First, we have an official promotion of a drama that started this week, which actually finished shooting back in October last year, but they didn't say anything. They kept it very quietly under wrap. It's a Yoku drama, only 24 episodes, contemporary one called Xue Mi Gong, the first shot. And it's supervised by Zhang Yimou, the big film director. He is not necessarily the directly involved director or producer anyway, but he's like the supervisor sitting on this project. And it's an anti drug drama. And the director actually is the director who did Wu Zheng Zhi Zui, Burning Eyes back in 2017, still one of my favorite crime dramas in recent years from Chinese Trumpland. The strongest interest point for me would be the three male leads. There are many other people involved in this drama, like at least another nine of them, but the main three characters are guys and they are played by Huang Jingyu, Zhang Yuyu, and Wang Ziqi. Huang Jingyu, like I said, always get listed as number one. I guess like he has to be a police. <laughs> like, can you imagine him being a drug dealer? I'm just saying. So Huang Jingyu is in there number one. Zhang Yu, the actor that I really like, and he's mostly working in film, but these days slightly also in dramas. And one of those people that you kind of forget about his face, he just becomes a character. And he looks totally different in every project he's in. And then Wang Ziqi. <laughs> I don't know, I watch too many sweet, romantic, happy dramas he's done with Wang Yuwen, and I can't wait to see him be a bad guy, hopefully this time in a drug dealing drama, that would be really interesting, and hopefully it's better than the other police drama he was in not so long ago that I couldn't bear watching. Definitely the type of drama I'll check out when it airs. And then since we're talking about 
officially promoting but not yet airing drama but I definitely will check out drama <laughs> the next one is not a Chinese one it's American one might as well just mention it Three Body from Netflix it's gonna go live on March the 21st in case you don't know <laughs> and uh, it's gonna dump all the episodes on that day I mean I've already seen trailers and it's like okay it's totally their own story it's really not the original Three Body in any sense now that um, certain people even started kissing I'm like really? <laughs> really? what? huh? you and Americans have such a limited imagination, so that's what I want to say. These two characters, they're thinking about elimination of human civilization, okay, on the grand scale, universe scale. They're thinking about that very impersonal view of evolution. It will be fun to look at Netflix's version and I probably will be laughing throughout the whole thing. Even before I start watching it, I'm already laughing in my heart. Sorry about that, but D&D, you've destroyed Game of Thrones, so to me, you know, always a laughing stock. Then we have quite a few dramas that have started shooting this week, so let's run through them one by one. First, I think only yesterday or something like that, very close to now, a new contemporary romantic drama has started shooting in Beijing. 24 episodes on the platform Tencent when it airs, and it's led by Wang Anyu and Wang Yuwen called 值得爱, literally meaning worth loving. Hasn't shown up anywhere on drama list yet, so again, people, <laughs> you need to update your information over there. So it doesn't have an official English title, and it's a focused on two people's romantic relationship, and many years, like over 10 years of that entanglement thing, at least based on the synopsis, it looks like that. To me, the only interesting thing is it's two cute young actors that I like, Wang Anyu and Wang Yuwen, and this time it's not Wang Ziqi and Wang Yuwen, but it's still Wang Wang, so just shows you Wang is a huge surname in China. I think around like 100 million people actually has that surname. And I want to see how they work out a chemistry. Then we also have a historical drama that has started shooting, and this is a very familiar combination, Chang An de Li Zhi, The Li Qi Road. It is a Tang Dynasty setting period drama based on the famous author Ma Bo Yong's novel that actually got released like recently. Within half a year, I remember this book published, and now it's already being made into a drama. It's directed by Cao Dun. And then it's led by Lei Jiaying. See why I'm saying this is a very familiar combination. Chang An Sha Shi Chen was directed by Cao Dun, was based on Ma Bo Yong novel, was led by Lei Jiaying. Right, we're just repeating that this time with the same combination of people. Just by hearing 40 episodes, I'm a bit worried about the length of the drama. For this type of very clear one goal to achieve drama, 40 episodes feels too long. And if you're not sure about what the story is, basically it's based on this whole thing about transporting the lychee fruit from its production places into Chang'an capital in Tang Dynasty, which is a famous thing in Tang Dynasty, and there are poems written specifically about the whole because the concubine likes lychee and the emperor orders it and it needs to be transported on horseback for such a long distance but this is an easily perishable fruit so what ancient people try to do to make it happen that whole idea is the background of this story and it will be filled with ups and downs and excitement like Chang An Sha Shi Cheng and most of other Ma Bo Yong's novel and it's 40 episodes and it's very drama and it's Cao Dun okay we're not gonna see it until like mid next year fastest probably even later and when that time comes we shall see if it's uh, worth watching drama then we have a proper series contemporary drama started shooting this week called Yi Fa Zhi Ming English title In the Name of Justice just hear the title you know it's serious and it's a story mainly features the prosecution and it's gonna be led by just hearing the names you know it's serious Zhang Yi, Li Guangjie, Jiang Xing, 36 episodes, Yu Ku. Then we also have a contemporary drama, only 16 episodes, produced by Tencent that has started shooting this week, called Yu Sheng You Ya. Not sure about its English official title, and it's led by Mao Xiaotong and Zhang Bingbing, and this time they're playing a young couple. Don't want to spoil it too much for you, it's a short drama, and when it airs, you'll know. If miracle happens, we may even get to see it before the end of this year. Then, I have already talked about the period drama that Liu Shishi is shooting. Now, it has officially started shooting. They've held the ceremony, the drama is rolling. Zhang Xing Kill My Sins, led by Liu Shishi and Dou Xiao. When I first Talked about it, I didn't know that the second lead couple will be Zheng Yecheng and Xuan Lu. Personally, I'm more interested 
in the second lead couple. Zheng Yecheng, if you've been following my channel for long enough, right? It's one of those like really hopeful people on my list of everything about this actor is just like so right in place. Just somehow he just never got to the level of popularity and fame that he kind of should have. But any time, any moment in time, he could explode and they will push him up to that level. The fact that he is the second lead couple with Xuan Wu, I also really like her. She actually was in Hong Lou Meng not many years ago. I still remember what she was like when she was a teenager. So just because of that, I really, really am now very interested in this project. Finally, to wrap up today's video, we have a wrap up thing that has happened. Actually, I think not last week, but they say officially last week. So let's put it last week. It is a film that actually has been in the making for a long time, but being under many, many layers of wraps and nobody knows exactly who's the cast member and whatever. It's just being very low-key and secretive. It's a film that's directed by the director Chen Kexing. It's a Ming Guo setting film called Jiang Yuan Nong, literally means Jiang Yuan Alleyway. The English title right now is the Jiang Yuan Nong, the murderer. Whether that's going to be the final title, we shall wait and see. And the lead of the film is Zhang Zi. Yeah, the queen, the queen, okay, of Chinese cinema, most famous internationally Chinese actress these days. And then the guy leading the film is Lei Jiaying. Film, television series, contemporary period drama, comedy series, whatever. Lei Jiaying shi kuai zhuan, na li xu yao, na li ban. Somehow, he just ends up being all films and televisions. And he's like this omnipresence of Chinese drama land and film land. Anyway, so he's the first credited guy among the cast members and it also features many other people and this is actually based on a real murder case that happened back in Mingguo of a woman killing her husband and cutting him into pieces I think it's actually on newspaper back then pretty interesting story so this film has wrapped it actually started shooting last year and leading up to like before Chinese New Year kind of before Chinese New Year, it's almost 90% finished. So now it's officially finished. And it's a movie and it's very secretive about all the stuff in it. Who knows? For a movie, it may happen this year, it may happen next year, it may happen 10 years down the line. You never know. That should be the last piece of news I have collected for Chinese drama land this week. And technically, it should be spring now, it's March, but last two days in Winnipeg, crazy blizzard and knee high <laughs> snow probably will be the last heavy snow hopefully like this winter thank you for watching up new x i'll see you in my next video meanwhile live long and happy drama watching